Bradley, the first question here is somebody's asking, I'm starting to do blog posts for clients. Is it worth it to repurpose these all to all Web2 sites as well? Um, or would this result in, you know, would it have an ROI or would it hurt? So basically they want to, they're doing blog posts, they're publishing them on the client site. Should they put them on all the Web2 sites as well? Well, that's like what our syndication academy method was for that I used for many years. And it was very effective. And you can still do it. I mean, it's it, syndicating your own content to your branded profiles is fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it used to be a very effective method for SEO. It's not nearly as effective as it used to be. Um, it still can be, and it can't hurt anything, though. I mean, because, again, now you have your social media properties or Web, web 2.0 properties, in this case, that you can build links to and be a lot more aggressive with those. So if you syndicate content or republish it, however you do that, typically that's going to be triggered via an RSS feed and some sort of automation. Uh, but if it has internal links in the post that goes to the you know other pages or posts on the site that you're trying to promote, then it becomes like another way to build links because now you have Web 2.0 assets with uh, you know syndicated content with internal links, and it, typically you're going to have an attribution link or where you're going to cite the source. In other words, give credit to where the original version of that article was, similar to a press release, and that's you know again something like what we had been teaching in. Uh, syndication academy forever so it is you can still do it um it's just it's not nearly as effective as it used to be but though they can be additional link building targets i'm not saying that um you shouldn't do it i'm just saying typically i don't do that anymore but it's something that you can do if you are publishing posts for a client regularly it's just additional link building targets that you can populate additional uh you know branded assets with content about that topic and everything else so it it can have a benefit if done properly is what I'm saying. It shouldn't hurt anything. As long as you republish it properly with an attribution link, in other words, saying where the original was. That's what, if you're using an RSS uh, feed to pop to, to the syndicate or to trigger the syndication, then a lot, of the, a lot of the RSS, or excuse me, the SEO plugins will have an option to kind of add an attribution link to the RSS feed so that every item that gets picked up from an RSS feed will always contain a link that cites the original source. And so, you know, Yoast does it, SEO Press does it, Rank Math has those options. So it's something that's very simple to set up and easy to manage if you're going to be using that as kind of a method. 